teaches Bilal saves fellow boys. Bilal lived in Syria in an orphanage along with some many other boys. One day, the orphanage was attacked by the Syrian enemy. The owner of the orphanage felt it was dangerous to keep the children there. So he decided to smuggle the boys to a safer city by hiding them among the vegetables he used to sell. On his way, he was stopped at a checkpoint set up by the enemy. He told the guards that he was going to the city to sell some vegetables. One of the guards was suspicious and decided to check the bags. He hid the bag in which Bilal was, but Bilal did not make any sound. When they were at a safe distance, the owner rushed to check on them. He found Bilal badly hurt, but the boy did not make a sound as it would have sent them into danger. Thus, his action saved the lives of his fellow boys. Julia prevents a camping disaster. Julia and her friends were going camping for the first time from the school. They were very excited about it. The children had to hike for a few kilometers before they would reach the campsite. Julia and her friends were very excited by the beautiful birds and plants that they saw on the way. They began to dawdle and before they knew it, the group had moved on. Nightfall found them all alone in the forest. Julia knew that they would have to wait till morning. She also knew that there were many dangerous animals in the forest. She quickly gathered some wood and lit a fire so that they might feel safe. She made sure that the fire burned all night so that no animals might attack them. The smoke also helped attract the attention of the teachers who rescued them early in the morning. Rian doesn't give up. When Rian was born, his hands were not formed properly. On the left arm, he had only two fingers, whereas his right arm ended with a stump. Many people pitied Rian because of his disformed arms. But Rian was very brave. He refused to see this as a problem and saw it as an opportunity to set an example of how everyone can lead a fulfilled life. Rian loved statues and wanted to become a sculptor. His teachers felt his desire would never be fulfilled because of his arms. However, Rian never gave up. He tried to see how he could bring his ideas to life. Even when people ridiculed him, he continued practicing. His parents encouraged and supported him. With time, Rian became skilled at sculpting clay. When he was 27 years old, Rian held an exhibition of his sculptures. People were amazed to see how beautiful his sculptures were. 
Alana overcomes her fear. Alana lived with her parents in Brazil. When she was very young, she had seen a horrific road accident. Since that day, she was afraid of blood. One day, she was traveling with her mother in their car. A truck was coming from the other side. One of the tires of the truck burst and the driver lost control of his vehicle. Alana's mother tried to swerve and prevent an accident. But unfortunately, they collided with the truck. Alana was not hurt, but her mother's left arm was broken and she was covered with small bleeding cuts. Alana's mother was very frightened, but Alana knew that she had to help her mother. She took out the first aid kit, bandied her mother's arm and cleaned her wounds. After that, Alana helped her mother tend to the driver of the truck who was bleeding heavily from the gash on his head. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Bookhouse.